Hello learners, today we are going to solve some problem based on algebra. Your first problem is if alpha beta are the roots of the equation x square minus 2x plus 4 equals to 0, then you have to evaluate the value of alpha raised to the power n plus beta raised to the power n. Your given options are 2 raised to the power n plus 1 cos n pi by 3, 2 raised to the power n minus 1 sin n pi by 3. Third one is 2 raised to the power n cos 2 n pi by 3. And last option is 2 raised to the power n plus 1 sin n pi by 3. Now you are given that the alpha and beta are the roots of the equation x square minus 2x plus 4 equals to 0. When we try to solve this, we will have the value of roots will be or value of x will be 1 plus minus iota root 3 which are complex conjugates let alpha equals to 1 plus iota root 3 and beta equals to 1 minus iota root 3 then just try to write these alpha and beta into the polar form and this will be alpha equals to it can be written as 2 into 1 by 2 plus iota root 3 by 2 which can be further written down as 2 cos pi by 3 plus iota sine pi by 3. The value of beta will be 2 cos pi by 3 minus eta sin pi by 3. Now try to calculate the value of alpha raised to the power n and plus beta raised to the power n. It will be equal, equal to 2 raised to the power n cos pi by 3 plus eta sin pi by 3 raised to the power n plus 2 raised to the power n cos, n cos pi by 3 minus eta sin pi by 3 to the power n n. It can be further written down as 2 raised to the power n into 2 cos n pi by 3. When we further solve this, we will have our final answer that is 2 raised to the power n plus 1 cos n pi by 3. That means the value of alpha raised to the power n plus beta raised to the power n will be equals to 2 raised to the power n plus 1 cos n pi by 3. Our next problem is the root of the equation x cube minus 12 x square minus 39 x minus 28 equals to 0 are in arithmetic progression. Then you have to calculate the value of common difference that is d. The given choices are 2, 3, minus 2 and 4. First, let us assume that the root of equation since they are in arithmetic progressions are a minus d a and a plus d then as you can easily calculate that you have the value of sum of roots that is a plus d plus a plus a minus d will be equals to minus b upon a the value of b from this given equation will be minus 12 that means 3a will be equals to my 3a will be equals to 12 Hence, the value of a will be equals to 4. Now, as we know that the multiplication of the root is equals to minus, the value of multiplication of the root will be equals to minus d upon a. And the value of d is equals to minus 28. That is, multiplication of root will be a minus d into a into a plus d will be equals to 28 that means when we solve this we will have the value of d after substituting the value of a the value of d will be equals to plus minus 3 that is your final answer next question is if x minus 1 and x plus 3 are the two factors of x cube plus ax plus b equals to 0 then the remaining factors are will be then the remaining you have to calculate the third factor of this equation you are given that x minus 1 and x, x plus 3 are the two factors of x cube plus ax plus b equals to 0. It simply means we have from this factor we have value of x equals to 1 and another value is x equals to minus 3. When we substitute x equals to plus 1 then the value of a plus b will be equals to minus 1 and when we put x equals to minus 3 in given equation we will have uh, 3a minus 3a plus b equals to 27. When we solve these two equations that is a plus b equals to minus 1 and 3a plus b minus 3a plus b equals to 27 we will have a equals to minus 7 as well as b equals to 6. 
after substituting the values of a and b in the given equation we have the given equation will be x cube minus 7x plus 6 equals to 0 when we factorize this equation you will have x minus 2 into x minus 1 into x plus 3 equals to 0 that means the remaining factor for the given equation is equals to x minus 2 that is your final answer your next problem is you are given with the equations 2x minus ky plus 7 equals to 0 and 6x minus 12y plus 15 equals to 0. These equations will, these set of equations will have no solution when k equals to minus 4, k equals to plus 4, k equals to 1 and k equals to minus 1. As we know that the, these set of equations will have no solution when we it satisfy the condition that is a1 upon a2 is equals to b1 upon b2 is not equals to c1 upon c2. From the given equation 2x minus ky plus 7 equals to 0 and 6x minus 12y plus 15 equals to 0 just substitute the values of a1 b1 c1 and a2 b2 and c2 we will have 2 upon 6 is equals to minus k upon minus 12 is not equals to 7 upon 15. When we use these two that is 2 upon 6 equals to k upon 12 you will have k the value of k will be equals to 4. This. The next question is it is very easy problem that is if a and b are the natural numbers such that a square minus b square is prime number then you have to find out the value of a square minus b square it will be equivalent to either 1 a b a minus b or a plus b you can easily solve these kind of answer by just putting some values of a and b and then checking out the answer means as we know that if a and b are the natural numbers such that a square minus b square is prime then you have you know that a square minus b square will be equals to a plus b this can be easily verified with while putting or while choosing the values of a and b are 3 and 2. We have chosen a equals to 3 and b equals to 2. a square minus b square will be equals to 5. That is a prime number and the sum of a plus b will be equals to 5. That means a square minus b square will be equals to a plus b. Thank you.